good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapos, joining you for another pointers for the next generation MTWX RM test. And this time around, we're going to talk about several important concepts that I'd like to highlight before you take your test. So let's begin. This time around, this is pointer session number 13. Okay. So join our hundreds and thousands of nurses worldwide who pass their USR and next generation NCLEX test by using the Ray Gapus course shells. Okay, give us a call at 0906-201-9383 or send us a message at info at ragapusreview.com. And before we get to start, let's learn from someone who recently passed the test. So Let's begin and let's have an overview of the success story of this nurse who passed the next generation and tests. Yes, as I've been saying, let's learn a lesson from our next generation NCLEX RN passer, Carmi Besana Portahada Ejercito, you know, USRN from the University of Makati. She passed the New York Board of Nursing next generation NCLEX RN last June 13, 2023. And Let's learn from what she wants to share with us. I am very much thankful for stumbling onto an advertisement via Facebook about Gapu's three-day quick fix. So she's sharing the advantages of the three-day quick fix with you, which I conduct personally every month. So it comes with free books, free use of the course shell within that period, and of course, our high-yield questions. At a minimal fee, they claim to offer to fix your NCLEX test-taking dilemma. I never doubted the program since Sir Gapos is already a well-known and respected leader in the field of nursing review. Thank you very much for the very kind words, Carmi. The three-day program involves various test-taking skills intended for the latest version of the NCLEX, the dreaded NGN. Sir Gapos was able to utilize test items and formulate strategies which are very much reflective of the actual NCLEX question. So that's keyword, very much reflective. On the first part of my NCLEX journey, I resorted to self-review. You can do that if you are well equipped with the knowledge. The most important thing is you have to have a sense of focus. And after you're done with your self-review, if you want a reinforcement, from our very experienced mentors, or if you want the reinforcement from me, join me in my quick fix session. By utilizing online practice tests, I was positively anticipating that I will be able to get a schedule anytime soon. I enrolled in the quick fix program. The techniques and strategies he taught during the review sessions were very much helpful during my actual exam. I was able to use the three books provided by the review center that's for free. Even the handouts are for free. I encountered in my exam their so-called high-yield items. So it's her telling you now that she encountered what we have been highlighting. With God's guidance, I was able to pass with 85 items. Congratulations, Carmi Bisana Portahada Ejercito, USRM. You deserve a salute. Okay, now, there are three important things that I'd like to highlight. The first one is... What are the things that I have to focus on when you're preparing for the next generation NCLEX for this specific time of the year? So let's begin. And this is about the halter monitor. Now remember, a halter monitor is a tape recording of a client's EKG for 24 hours. Now usually, this is worn by the patient for 24 hours, but the installation of this is very, very quick. So less than 10 to 15 minutes. The only requirement for the patient is actually to wear a shirt that has buttons in front, and then instructions for the patient who is wearing a halter monitor would be highlighting several important things. One would be that they cannot, remember, they cannot take a bath while the halter monitor is in place, but they can always go to work or to visit friends, to go driving if they don't have fainting or dizziness, that's perfect. However, they also need to avoid exposure to a magnetic field, um, microwave oven, and of course, electric razors and toothbrush, okay? Including metal detectors. Now, the, there are several things that you have to tell your patient because your halter monitor usually comes with a lock on 
notebook or a diary in which the patient will be writing down or pay, paying particular attention to the symptoms that they feel and they have to make sure that those are properly logged in the notes. And then instruct the patient also to press the event button just in case they feel some manifestations that make them uncomfortable, okay? So the only requirement is for the client to wear loose clothing with buttons in front. That's the only requirement for the use of a halter monitor. It's non-invasive, okay? Next would be your stage two pressure injury. And if you talk about stage two pressure injury, it's the pressure injury that affects the top area of the skin and usually requires, pay particular attention to the dressing, a thin hydrocolloid dressing. And primarily the purpose of that dressing is to decrease shearing force, okay? on the skin, okay? So that would definitely decrease the friction on the skin. So if your patient is having stage two pressure injury, what are the things that we need to assess? Is there an open wound? Is there swelling? Is there skin discoloration? And is there pain? Now, if you're going to take the next generation MPLEX, focus on potential SATA or select all that apply items or multiple choice of multiple response item. Like what are the body parts in which your stage two pressure injury could be common? And that includes your bony areas, like for example, the elbows, the knees, the tailbones, the ankles, the heels, okay? So these are the areas in the body that you have to focus on. Now, your pressure to injury is usually common when you have immobilized patients or those who are on prolonged bed rest. And there are three things that you have to focus on. Remember, P, U, S, okay? P is their pain. And then U, how do you characterize the ulcer? Does it have any drainage or pus or clear liquid? And then S, swelling and shallow crater or Blister. So if you see blister formation, that's stage two. If you see shallow crater-like wound, that's stage two. Now, pay particular attention to the treatment for stage two pressure ulcer. One could be dietary modification. The diet should be high in protein and high in calorie. Then it has to be supplemented with zinc and, of course, your arginine, which is a type of amino acid. And of course, if needed, the doctor will prescribe antibiotics. Now, focus primarily on the type of dressing that needed to be used. And that's going to be your hydrocolloid dressing, okay? The purpose is to decrease shearing force or to decrease friction. Now, the third topic that I'd like to highlight at this point would be your blood transfusion. Take note that for a patient to undergo blood transfusion, they will first have to have their compatibility testing, which means there should be identification of the blood type of the patient. And secondly, there should be identification of the RH status of the patient. So RH or the rhesus factor is an inherited protein found in the surface of the red blood cells. Now take note, 85% of people are RH positive. The RH positive gene therefore is considered as dominant and usually the father can pass down his RH positive blood to the baby. Now, what seems to be the problem in RH incompatibility? Remember, okay, so in ABO incompatibility, the destruction of the R disease could result from the inappropriate administration of blood to a patient with a specific blood type. So for you to remember this, a patient with blood type A can be given blood type A and O. A patient with blood type B can receive blood type B or O. A patient with blood type AB can receive either blood type A, B, AB, or O, and a patient with blood type O can receive blood type O 
only. Okay. Now, let's integrate the RH status of the patient. Remember this functional concept. A patient with an RH positive blood can receive both RH positive and negative blood. Whereas an RH negative blood, if that is present in the patient, will make that patient only compatible with a blood supplement that's also RH negative. In other words, okay, if the patient is RH negative blood, the blood stat RH status that's compatible with this or her blood should only be RH negative. So the problem is, like for example, in RH incompatibility, if the mother is RH negative and then the husband is RH positive and the husband has passed down the RH status to the baby, the baby now is RH positive. So after the delivery of the first baby, next pregnancies could predispose that patient to RH incompatibility. When? The RH status of the mother is negative and that of the baby is positive. That's why a pump's test is usually done and Brogam is usually administered within 72 hours after the delivery of an RH positive baby from an RH negative mother. Okay, now, to lessen your confusion, let's try to arrange this concept and simplify as we've used both the concepts of ABO compatibilities and RH compatibilities. Therefore, what did we say? An RH positive blood can be mixed with both positive and negative blood. So therefore, a patient with blood type A positive can be given A positive and negative or O positive and negative blood. They focus on blood type B positive. So if the patient has a blood type B positive, the patient can be given B positive and negative O positive and negative blood. If the patient has AB positive blood, the patient can be given A positive and negative, B positive and negative, AB positive and negative, and O positive and negative. In other words, the patient with blood type AB is the universal recipient, whereas a patient with blood type O positive can only receive blood type O positive and O negative. Okay, let's take a look at the other way around. What if the patient has an RH negative blood. So a patient with a blood type A, RH negative, can only receive A negative and O negative. Blood type B negative, the patient can only receive B negative and O negative. Blood type AB negative, the patient can only receive A negative, B negative, AB negative, O negative. And if the patient has blood type O negative, the patient can only give, be given O negative only. Okay? So if you have difficulty remembering these concepts, all you have to do is to rewatch this video again so you can master it, okay? So the second important thing is study with the right technology. And at this point here at the Ray Gapper system, we have publications of our learning tools by internationally renowned publishing companies. And of course, the latest tool that we have, you have your Ray A. Gapus review system for Shell that covers all the subjects on the NCLEX. You can access this anytime, anywhere. And this comes with unlimited access for a very minimal fee of $149 only. Okay? So if you want to access this for free, all you have to do is to call our office. Okay? And of course, the third and most important element would be your conducive room environment. This is our simulation room for the NCLEX RN where our students learn real um, real life experience of navigating through next generation items using our software. And of course, this is our very intimate class size. You can join us anytime. We do classes monthly and I'd like to invite you for our next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN, the fee starts at 3,499. You can have a morning class and an afternoon class for this exclusively weekend classes, okay? So this is NCLEX RN Flex because it's your choice whether you want to attend live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recording sessions or lessons, and you get an access to our Cubank plus our three books, NGN Strategies by me, 
And of course, your quick fix session, which is a 24 hours can be in three days. Fine. Okay. So take that opportunity to pass NPLEX RN, the next generation set of questions with Dr. Gapus, of course, through our Ray A. Gapus review system. So once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus saying thank you and see you in our next video. Take care and remember a functional concept a day keeps your NPLEX RN peers away.